too. Stonehenge, motherfuckers. Can't wait. We have a 645 slot, and we're gonna be in the center. Stone Sack Access. So we're waiting right now uh, to start the tour. We gotta arrive 15 minutes early. One of the most famous landmarks in the United Kingdom, Stonehenge is regarded as a British cultural icon. The site and its surroundings were added to UNESCO's list of World Heritage Sites in 1986. It attracts more than one million visitors each year. The circular earth bank and dish that surrounds the stones can be dated back to about 3100 BC, while the first stones are believed to have been raised at the site between 2400 and 2200 BC. Over the next few hundred years, the stones were rearranged and new ones added, with the formation we know today being created between 1930 and 1600 BC. It was created by people who left no written records. Some of the stones were brought from nearly 200 miles away, a feat that would have been a major technical accomplishment at the time. In 2013, a team of archaeologists excavated the cremated remains of 50,000 bones at the site. These bones date back to as early as 3000 BC. The monument stones possess unusual acoustic properties. When struck, they produce a loud clanging sound. They are known as ringing rocks. When it first opened to the public as a tourist attraction in the 20th century, visitors were able to walk among the stones and even climb on them. Tourists were given chisels to facilitate souvenir taking. However, due to serious erosion of the stones, the monument has been roped off since 1997, and visitors are only allowed to view the stones from a distance. Exceptions are made during the summer and winter solstices, and the spring and autumn equinoxes. simply incredible you got to come check it out it's one thing when you see it like in a picture or something but when you're actually standing in the middle of it looking around amazing so our new friend David was telling us that when they were doing the Stonehenge rocks they actually carved them and chiseled them over here and in time they got buried but the moles dig them up so if you want a piece of Stonehenge, come over here and just check the rocks, and they have to have a little sparkle on the edges to them. Oh, wow, yeah. okay. You just see it sparkling, like little lights in it. Oh, that's awesome. But, yeah. It's not that stuff with all the white on. And then it is, yeah, if you spit on it and clean it, and you can get that, you can see it. Stonehenge, 2018. Ah, geocache. Geocache, geocache, geocache. The narrator will fill you in right now. The hunt continues as we get deeper into the forest. And she keeps scraping my legs. The hint is take a few paces in from the new gate, then take five paces left. Okay. So a few paces in. I can Okay, so in here. Oh, 
Oh, maybe I understand. Is that it? Yes. So much. Yeah, got it. You got a pen, you know? No. We'll have to log it on the thing. Oh, sh. Oh, wow. This is a big one. This is a small one. Oh, that's his pen. It's everything you need. This is a small cache. Oh, wow. Awesome. Found, found on the 13th of May while walking out. When was the last one that was found? 13th of May. Today? Yeah. Someone's already found it today? Yeah. Amazing. So now you log it on here? Room, huh? It's normal room. Well, that's the new one, it looks like. Fuck. <laughs> so you get little things in here. Go ahead, take any of them, or just, just like to leave here for everyone else to yeah. check out? We need to leave a note here. I reserve the right to be wrong, but these could be pipits or walkers. The birds that are flying and chirping around. They, they, they uh, nest in the ground and they come out and they find bees and shit. Yeah. We got lucky when we came because at a certain time you can't go in. standing at the entrance to a timber monument with six oval rings of posts built at about the same time as Stonehenge. The wooden posts were a variety of sizes, possibly standing up to nine meters tall. The oval rings were broadly aligned in the direction of midsummer sunrise and midwinter sunset, the same as Stonehenge. You might be able to make out the low ditch and bank to your left and your right. This is a henge built to enclose the site. We do not know how wood henge was used but people placed many objects and animals, bones and posts even after some of them had rotted. These included grooved ware pottery, carved chalk objects, antler picks and flint tools. Fragments of human bone were also found here, as well as two later burials. A child near the centre, today marked as a flint cairn, and a young man in the ditch. He probably had too much to drink and couldn't find his way home. This is my friend, <laughs> Wendy. <laughs> Wendy. Yeah. And, and we are here. Maddie. And Maddie. Yep, Maddie. We're here. We're, we're here at Stone or Woodhenge. 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 And, and you guys are going to be my films. Okay? And we're going to be Absolutely. your film. And we love you. Aww, we love you too. Aww. <laughs> Aww. What the fun? Aww, we like sorry. an angel. Just a <laughs> <laughs> I, I, have, I have the hair of an angel. Yeah. <laughs> I've been told that before. <laughs> We're in the lovely hamlet of Avebury, in the middle of a stone circle. Motherfucking stone circle. They've got little ones with them. Jessica, scaring sheep. Jessie's on the pull. How did you get on Jessica? Not what I'd like. I want to run after him, but I don't want to scare him too much. Pink markers there, so every country marker marks where a stone was. It's been taken away. Uh, okay. oh. But are they the original stones? Yeah, all, all of this stuff. But look at the size of them. It's yeah. twice the size of anything that's stone was. Yeah. Yeah. They may not have brought it 40 miles, I don't know. But right. even just putting it up. What kind of valley is that? From the valley. Time for my first ever spa in Bath. I just had my very first spa experience. Oh, let's just say I feel like a new man. Get a spa treatment. They're pretty cool. He didn't bring any boxes to us. Where are you going? Yeah. He didn't wear deodorant either. Yeah. Where are you going, man?
the Wolfpack Road Trip. Oh yeah. Is that enough? We got some surprises for you today, friends. What are you bending over that wall for? You want a spanking? Yeah. Dry stone wall in. How about that then? Kills, what's this place called again? I got you <laughs> under my skin. I got you. Sing it, Kim. Under my skin. I got you under my skin. Can you find it? Because I was on a tight budget, I chose to sit this one out. Here we go. Camera to camera. The Saxon Tower was built for Lady Coventry in 1798 to 1799. The tower was built on a beacon hill, where beacons were lit on special occasions. Next level. <laughs> Lady Coventry wondered whether a beacon on this hill could be seen from her house in Worcester, about 22 miles away. Indeed, the beacon could be seen clearly. Wave, Jessica. The tower is a tourist attraction and the center of a country park with various exhibitions open to the public at a fee, as well as a gift shop and restaurant. Jesse. There's a deer staring at you. He was. The tower stands 65 feet high. Catch! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And we're back. We're in Shipping Candy. Shipping Candy. The Red Lion. Afterwards, we drove back to Mark and Keeley's to meet up with her mom, her sister, and her sister's boyfriend. You can see one of them's laid a nest here already. That's a spider. No, come on. Yeah, the web. Is that there? It's a spider web. No, it's not a spider web. Yeah. Prove it. That is a... Um, <laughs> so, you get a, a masonry bee, they come in, they lay their eggs right at the back of the tube, then they fill it up with stuff that looks like cotton wool. And then they go away for a year, and then a year later they hatch and bang. A biffkin. <laughs> <laughs> for a biffkin? What, what, what else do you guys call it? What? What are you on? A biffkin. What's a biffkin? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, tell me. Go on, what's a biffkin? Oh, Marksman, what's a biffkin? Oh, is it? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you call it? Apparently, we learned this. Well, in America, we call it a gooch. <laughs> yeah. I don't have it, I wouldn't know. It's a truffle. I would love to eat chocolate. Mm. <laughs> Is it nice? It doesn't taste any better with that, is it? Lovely. <laughs> lovely. Lovely. Many, many different ways to say the word lovely. Let's hear it. And it means so many different things. You can certainly manage to everybody sat around here and everybody says, oh, this is really lovely. Well, it's a lovely evening. 
But then you can say, you can have a bloke cut you up. <laughs> yeah, when you drive down a road and you go, oh, lovely that. See, two different meanings. Same word. Should I tell you where the word fuck comes from? Yes. No, it's English, actually. <laughs> oh, shit. Now, his is from the 11th century. Okay. And this is true. This is fact. This is a Okay. Fiction. Fact, okay. okay. So, when <laughs> everybody was underneath the king. Yeah. Um, so, you had hamlets. Yeah. So, everybody was underneath the king. So, yeah. when you got married, you had to ask permission from the king to be able to get married. Yeah. So, the night before you were married, supposedly... You had the king go along and um, so nobody could enter. It had the word fuck. Fornication under the consent of the king. Yes. Yeah, See, this is the history I wish I had in high school. Yes. <laughs> we use it for all kinds of things. Uh, but that's exciting. where it originates from. Fornication under the consent of the king. Three, one. Alright. Ready? Hey. Say cheese, everyone. Cheese! Everyone say biscuit. Biscuit. Goose. 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 Farewell, my loves. Bye. This is awesome. Hello, sweethearts. Don't, don't take a shit. Yeah. <laughs> don't shit yourself. There's at least one fart that came out there we didn't hear. Oh, Mark. Oh, Mark. Oh. <laughs>